Howdy folks, how's it going? We got the German soldier, sad Sasquatch. Howdy, howdy. Playing some RRO. Nice. I'm, I'm playing the other railroad game. Woo! Do I have sound? Sometimes my sound dies. Yeah, we got sound. All right, cool. All right, you are started. Should be linked up. So, yeah, looks like the sound might be a little, a little loud. I'm not sure if I can change that. Here we go. Main volume. This is like not linear though. It's really strange. Try that. Hey, Hellbound Hades, how's it going? Got 15 full hoppers. Cool. If you're coming from the iron mine, you can just... You don't even need an engine. Just coast down. <laughs> so somebody pointed out this game to me. I think I think during the first season I did a Railroads Online. And I kind of looked into it. And, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't that interested. Um, and then the other day, uh, a tutorial video popped up in my feed. I got to watch those. I was like, wow, there's... There's a lot to this game. It's had a lot done to it recently. So, uh, yeah, I went and bought it. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of track laid just between like the first two things and we're gonna be making some money and hopefully getting some, some more equipment. I think I need $4,000 to get another train car. So that's what we're working on right now. It's going okay. Well, at least it's going. So I got the little starter diesel shunter and one like medium flat car or sort of a flat car it's kind of halfway between a flat car and a gondola and uh we're loading we're loading up stuff looks like it remembered my control settings so that's good so we're going to ease this forward and this little green cube here is where the stuff spawns I'm going to try to pack as much on here as I can. And I'm really liking this. Uh, it's amazing. Like all the stuff I want to do in Railroads Online is in this. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. All right, I'll wait just a bit and then I can spawn one on top of that. Oh, but it doesn't work. I forgot, it doesn't work with those containers can i get another type there we go perfect <laughs> all right take the break off ease forward i'm getting used to the uh controls though it's definitely a little bit different get used to the physics and stuff too Go check. I thought I had the, the car brake on. Yeah, I remember the car brake was on too. That's good. It's still on about half a turn. We'll get it all sorted out here. That might be close enough. Let's see what we spawn. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, help out in some ways it does. Uh, you'll see, we'll, we'll lay some track here in a little bit. In some ways it does. It's, I mean, it's completely different, so it's kind of hard to compare them. But.
Uh, this has both standard gauge and narrow gauge. And it even has like flat cars so you can buy your narrow gauge rolling stock and put it on a flat car and ship it over on standard gauge. I mean, there's this, there's cranes and forklifts and high rail vehicles and there's all kinds of stuff in here. I'm just barely getting started. All right, we need to back up just a hair. Come on back. It might work. It's got uh, two different types of turnouts, I think, but maybe they're just standard and narrow gauge. I'm not 100% sure. I've, I've barely played this. I got a little bit of track. Let me pull this up. I got a little bit of track laid. So you start here, there's like a, this is where you buy stuff. And then here's where we're at getting the goods. So I've got a little bit of track and then we came over to the heavy goods yard where we sell those. And then I went over to the salt flats where we can sell the heavy goods that we get from the standard goods. So that's pretty much all we've got right now. Uh, but the map, I think this one is 14 kilometers by 14 kilometers. It's it's a big map. There's a lot uh, a lot going on here. And I'm still getting used to it. But uh, you can zoom in. You can like throw the turnouts from here. From the map. And yeah, it's, it's just pretty darn cool. I'm liking it. Still getting used to the controls. That's the wrong one. All right, we need to go forward. Gonna get used to that coupler slack. You know, these water container boxes are a little bit of a problem, but the others seem to behave themselves pretty well. Uh, it has steam trains, and there's there's a mix you can do UK. Uh, some of the bigger stuff is like American, North American railroading style, GP38s, SDs, that kind of thing. But I don't have enough money for that you start with either the little a little steam shunter or this little diesel shunter both of which are like british in design uh can we get you to just hang on the back of the car uh that's one of those oh i think it's gonna work all right cool let's go sell some stuff as far as track laying like i've got a a, a switch here uh, we can just lay some track real quick, so we just bloop. Uh, see, so I need to turn on auto level, auto corner. Then if you want to lay straight track, you just do that. It goes four sections at a time, so we'll end there. Uh, if you want to put, like, say, a bumper on, dink, done. Uh, there's other pre-built thingies, we've got crossovers, we've got turntables. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> uh, so this is the narrow gauge, we've got narrow gauge turnouts, we've got regular gauge turnouts, and then there's sharper like variants of the standard gauge turnouts for yards and stuff. So I can make a little yard here if I wanted to. Uh, some kind of like crossing, another style bumper, and then we're back to the bumpers. Then there's, uh, there's little signs and things. Tanks, pre-built bridges, you can put up little signs. I actually haven't put one of these down. Can I interact with this?
What's up, Evie? Welcome. Um, I'm not sure. I've seen these with like with text on them, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to change them. I don't see a. Uh, oh no, that was that. Can I delete you? I can delete you. Okay. There's there's probably a way to set the text on there, but I don't I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, let's put a bumper on here. And it's gonna bother me that there's no rail out here where there's supposed to be rails. So we'll put a little section there. And you can even set like super elevation on curves if you want to, stuff like that. Anywho, let's go sell some goods. Let's go make some money. So you can control this from in the cab if you want to. You can also use the keyboard like I was doing when we were loading up. So we got plenty of fuel. I don't like the horn. Like you have to left click and then right click to let off the horn. It's really weird. So unless there's some other way to do that, that's it's a really strange horn. And we can zoom out. And it'll tell you the grade there that you're on in the upper left. And I came in this way, so I'm going to assume that the turnouts are all set. So there's the spawn point where you buy things. Little water tower there. I ran under that. So if we get some steam later, we can fill up. You can uh, turn on lights if you want. We got front and rear lights. And this is like the most chintzy railroad known to man. So bear with me. <laughs> I just laid track till I got where I was going. I didn't really try to make it look prototypical or neat or anything like that. Somehow I've seen it change the grade. Yeah, there we go. 1.2%. But I'm brand new to this game, so I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm still figuring things out. It's fairly steep here, and then we start heading downhill in a little bit. So it says zero here, so I think this part is flat. Exactly hellbound. <laughs> so yeah, I just put down this. This is kind of like the default bridge deck material that just puts down automatic piers. There's better looking pre-built bridges and things once you actually know what you're doing. And there's a coal mine. You can go load up coal and coal hoppers and stuff. There's there's a lot of different things going on. A little bit of a dipsy duel there. All right, let's back off the throttle. So we're about to head down Roller Coaster Hill. Whee! Oh, you can also fly. If the mood strikes you. You just gotta keep spamming the space bar. I haven't figured out how to like stay up in the air. Unless you just spam the space bar. Doink. Woo! <laughs> Wanna get back to your loco? Doink! Just hit the key. It's all good. You can teleport to any of your locos or vehicles. And you get rid of this dip here. This was a mistake. Whee! So that blue diamond in the sky is where we're headed. Each of those colors mean something. Like blue, I think, means you can buy and sell. Uh, yellow, you can only load stuff. Or maybe it's load and unload. I've got a lot to learn, but it's pretty fun. I had a lot of fun just laying this track over here. So we'll see. I don't, I think each one of these boxes is like 49 bucks. 
But that might dynamically change based on how many you're selling. So I'm not 100% sure. This is about 1.2% down. So we, it's going to be close. I don't think we're going to have quite enough with this trip to buy a car. But we could load up the big boys and take them on, and then we would have enough to buy a second car. Then it should start scaling up decently from there. It's a matter of cranking out the uh, cargo. All right, I should probably think about getting some brakes going on. I don't think there's any kind of train brakes. There's the hand brakes on the cars, and then there's the loco brakes. And I love, too, there's sparks. Like, anytime the train's under stress, <laughs> you start throwing sparks off. So that spur is going to go to that. There's another little piece of track over there. That's where you unload coal. So eventually that's probably going to go to where we load coal, although I'm not 100% sure where the coal is exactly. Where's the coal mine? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So we'd probably come around this way and join up depending on terrain. Oops. M for map. But we're a ways from that. I, I don't have hardly any cash at all. I've seen in the buy menu, there's like cranes and forklifts. And I, d I don't really know if you can use, like if you derail, can you use a crane to get back on the track? I, I don't really know. All right, let's start slowing down. There's going to be a green cell zone back here. I don't want to back into. I take really big steps. <laughs> yeah, this green zone here is where we sell, and here's where we spawn the big boxes. I've still got two heavy goods left. Tells you everything right here. Oh, brakes! Brakes! So getting used to the physics. I wasn't sure how quickly I could stop. Oh, and I still have the train. Still had that brake on. Oops. Amateur night. Come on back. Oh, you're longer than the cell zone. Oh, it was close enough. All right, good deal. Cool, so now I have five heavy goods because I've sold enough of the little ones. Reverser is really slow. So now we can load heavy goods. If we go that way, over there to that blue one, we can sell the heavy goods. Last time I was able to get two on here. Uh-oh. Push! Oh, I thought I took the brakes off. I'm a big old dummy. <laughs> Caution, junior engineer. I'm not used to the keys yet. I'm hitting all the wrong keys. You have to hold the key down, like for the reverser. It takes like four seconds to go from reverse to forward. All right, off on the brakes, flip up on the throttle. I'm thinking I can double stack these. I want to see how how horribly wrong that can go. Not 
sure that'll work out just just fine. I'm sure that's that's fine. That's safe, right? Don't know what the horn key is. I haven't discovered that one yet. I'm just hoping the back one doesn't fall off. I think I think we're gonna be okay. I think these are 99 a piece, so I think this is 300 bucks here. Yeah, we're still we're still way short. I was doing my math all wrong. If I hit that, what is that? What happens? Nothing. Okay. Wee! <laughs> Peekaboo! So the, the map is kind of boring. I'm not a big fan of the map as far as scenery goes, but it is a work in progress. I think maybe there's just one developer. I'm not 100% sure. I'm brand new to this game, just, just finding out about it. It was cheap though. Was it like 15 bucks? It's pretty cheap. So another thing we can get back here is refinery parts. So I think there's an oil refinery somewhere maybe. I'm not sure. There's a lot to explore. It's 11 pounds. So yeah, probably about 14, 15 bucks. I was thinking maybe it was 14.99 US when I bought it. I was playing this a little bit before work this morning, man. It was hard to put down. <laughs> I I might have played a little bit after my first work meeting. I might have laid some track. I can neither confirm nor deny. Look to buying Run 8. Yeah, Run 8, I mean, it's in a class of its own, but it's it's its, its own thing. Not, not everybody's going to enjoy Run 8. Like, yeah, this is a train game, but, I mean, it's galaxies apart from what you do in Run 8. But for 50 bucks, or I think the base game is 50 bucks, isn't it, for Run 8? It's kind of hard to beat if you're looking for an actual railroad simulator. All right, I th think we're done with the uphill as soon as we get off this part. It's a 2.6. It's a little steep there. Won't hit the brakes too soon, but we don't have to buy all the DLC though. You don't have to buy any of the DLC. Most of the DLC is just skins if you want paint jobs. It's functionally still the same. And you get like 220 miles of mainline plus all the other industries and stuff with the base game. So it's not like you have to buy it all. I certainly didn't buy it all. I did buy a handful of the skin packs 
for mixed freight because that's mostly what I run. And I like the detail. It's like it's like train simulator, you know, you don't have to buy all eight thousand dollars worth of DLC they have for that. <laughs> All right, let's park about right here and see if we can sell all this stuff. Sell cargo. Ka-ching! Well, X-Plane doesn't have DLC. I mean, there's third-party add-ons for X-Plane. It's not DLC per se. I always keep it. I keep it in V because I've been playing railroads online. Don't want that key. That changes the type of track you lay. All right, back we go for another run. I need a little more money. While we're doing that. Where's the... Oh, I don't have the keys in here? We turn up all the grass. All the ground detail. That's... Oh, that's more ground detail. Say what? But that's less grass? Okay. I'll leave the music off just in case. Uh, do, 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 do. Graphics level is set to GPU melting. There we go. I got a little more terrain detail. Still running flawlessly. A few more trees and things out there. Uh, this little switcher is not the fastest in the world. How fast are we going? Yeah, 30. On a downhill leg. I was going to look in the keys and see if there was keys for, uh, whoops, keys for, uh, horn and bell or anything like that. Hide hints. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So you can individually hide all the different, uh, UI stuff if you want. So I love the fact that you can actually see your track on the map. You can throw turnouts from the map and you can teleport to your stuff. Like I can jump out of here and go look at something. If I want to go back to my loco, I'll just F1. Since it's the only locomotive I have, I end up on this locomotive. You can also teleport to any of your wagons and any of your vehicles. a lot more detail in the ground so that's cool how's the volume level i assume it's all right nobody's yelling at me Ooh, we got actual grass I think we have two more heavy goods That's only 180 bucks. I can make more bringing the the little car loads down. 
At least until I get a bigger car where I can take more of the heavy stuff. Oh, what happened there? Whoa, 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 what? Darn it. Don't hit V. That happened back here. That wasn't broken when we went over, was it? Oh, because I changed the ground detail? Did it break some of my track? That could be a problem. All right, well, let's reconnect that. Do, 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 do. The only thing I can figure is I changed the ground detail, so it like changed the terrain mesh. Now I may possibly have gaps in my track. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it just hopped right over. It sparks flying though. It's like, yeah, whatever. So that horn will just stay on. I hope that gets changed. That's annoying. Oh, if you're in the cab and you hold shift, it'll do 1% at a time. So that's pretty handy for precise control. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on the lookout for gaps in my track. I don't know what happens if I derail. I think there's a thing you can buy that will rerail your cars. I saw that in a video, but I'm not sure how it works. Now, I don't have enough money for a crane, but there is, like, there's a mobile crane, and I think there's a Ural crane, and there's, uh, there's a lot of trucks. There's a Ural, like, tanker for fuel and stuff. Hey, no worries, Squatch. We just went and sold some big stuff, and we came back, and... I had a little gap in my track, but we didn't derail, so I fixed the gap in my track. Now we're headed back over to the starter area to get more goods. Because I don't quite have enough to buy a second car. As soon as I get 4,000, I'm going to buy a second car. We can start cranking out a little more money. Uh, the track doesn't cost you anything, which is nice. This line probably ought to be re-ran. I think... There's a little bit of a natural cut that goes across there, probably over towards the coal mine. Am I turned? No, I'm not turned. Okay, if I look at that, that's the city. Where's the coal mine? The coal mine is back over in there somewhere. So I think you're probably supposed to curve around there. Or at least there's, there's the option of curving there. I just kind of took a straight shot. I don't see a floating thingy for the coal mine, but maybe it's hidden back in there. Darn it. Yeah, top speed of 28. Miss Kerbo looking good in her pajamas. <laughs> hey, honey. So we'll slowly putter our way back over to the big yellow diamond in the sky. Speaking of sky, uh, I don't know what start time and stop time does, if anything. Uh, I think we could turn the rain on and change the time of day. I assume at some point that'll be like dynamic. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep it in the default, I guess. Default-ish. And click save while I'm there. Oh no, they just jumped track. That's a bummer. Yeah, this terrain looks a lot better now that I turn the detail up. It's got a lot more definition to it. So I think you're supposed to go around this. Like, see how that's kind of flat? I did not do that. That's certainly a possibility. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, we wiggled through it. We're good. Flipped into the mountain. Yeah. I'm finding out where my track went wonky. So far, just that one place. I forgot to look and see if uh, this game had a Twitter. I should have tweeted out. It's been out for quite a while, but it, seemed, it, it was completely off my radar. Somebody in one of my YouTube comments brought it up. All right, we're finally back. We'll go look at all the stuff you can buy while we're here. Folks that want to see. There's a lot of stuff. I just need some moolah. You can also just teleport to the shop. F7 is just teleport to the shop. Makes it super simple. Boink! Alright, let's go buy stuff. <laughs> We don't have fuel. Oh, we still got plenty of fuel. There's free fuel and water there at those tanks. We're empty, so we should be able to stop pretty easily. Oh, so close. <laughs> Pretty close. All right, let's hop over here to the shop. So the default is the Trojan. That's the Steam version of what we have. Little, uh, I think it's an 040. Do I have a flashlight? I'm not sure if I have a flashlight. Uh, it's the same price. I went for the diesel option. For fun, I think they're probably similar in power. Uh, this, the tutorial I watched said not to use this, but it's a little rocket. It's like the first successful locomotive. I think it was mostly a test. Uh, we got a big old, uh, steamer there. Another British diesel. Powered, uh, passenger train car. We got the Mogul. We got a BR-24. And we got the F40, the GP38. Uh, we got an H6. Very cool. Uh, a TEM2. I'm not familiar with that one. Might be British. The old FA1. FB1. Something that's very hot. <laughs> uh, some more British. Is that electric? Diesel electric, all right. The old SD40-2, SD70, and we're back to the Trojan. 
We got all kinds of wagons. I think that's just for testing. That's like literally how big it is. We got all kinds of little cars here, little hoppers, little flatbeds. Uh, and then I got this one with the little sides on it. That's one I've got. Absolute cheapest we go, I think, is thirty five hundred. Can't get very many boxes on that one. So I think I'll just save up for another one of these. Oh, is it Soviet Darkwind? I missed that. And it gets get into some bigger cars. Big old hoppers. Heavy duty stuff. Container wagons. Hoppy. <laughs> Passenger coaches. I don't know if there's passengers in the cities. There are cities you can go to. I'm not sure what's there. Uh, another uh, well car, steel wagon, box car, and then we're back to that. We got support stuff. We got little uh, like tenders and brake cars, that kind of thing. And then uh, the tankers are in here for some reason. So there's a diesel tanker. There's one that'll hold diesel or water. A little bigger, bigger one. Small tanker. Brick fan. Uh, we've got narrow gauge. I've actually been through all this stuff. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> hey, Hemi, welcome back. <laughs> Good question, Dave. Not sure. A mine cart. Oh, man. We got to have a narrow gauge mine at some point. Look at this little stuff. Trolley. Pretty much narrow gauge variants of some of the other ones. And we got cars and trucks. Um, I saw a video, a guy was driving this around and it has like high rail wheels, I think, unless it was a different version than he had. So you can drive this on the rails as well. Get on the rails and lower those. This one, you can actually see them on there. Pickup truck. I mean, maybe we could get a pickup truck and haul stuff on that. Maybe it'd be faster. We got two, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We're going to buy the pickup truck. Can I change the color of the pickup truck? Oh, some of the stuff you can change the color. You can also sell stuff back for full price. So if you don't want it, you just sell it back. Um, so if I hop in here. So if I hop in there. How do I drive this thing is what I want to know. I'm still, I think, linked up to that. How do I drive the trucks? <laughs> How do I drive you? <laughs> eh. Oh, you click on it. There we go. Now I'm like standing in it, turning around. That's awesome. Uh, rail wheels. Oh, look at that. Parking brake. Brake spelt wrong. Awesome. Uh, parking brake's off. Oh, here we go. Is this any faster? How do I get it in a higher gear? I'm not sure this is any faster, but we might do it just for the memes. You can also switch from the cab just by when you get close enough. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm literally standing. I'm not even sitting in it. I'll probably end up selling this. So if I exit, does it stop? Nope. Cool, just welded itself to that. All right, link back up to here. So 
if you like get in the get in or near the cab of a train then you like take it over then that's what you're controlling oh yeah we gotta start it first What's up, TKM? So I have a legit question for you, TKM Studios. And I'm not trying to be snarky. I, I legitimately want to know, can you not see the title and the game of the stream? Like, is that not a thing on mobile or something? Because the game is set, like, on Twitch's site. But maybe it doesn't show up for everybody, so I'm curious. The game is Loco Shortline Operations. You can find it on Steam. Oh, I hit the parking brake. Oh, I thought I hit the parking brake. Okay, you can see it. All right, good. I want to make sure that it was actually showing up. Oh, it's one of those containers. Why does it have to be the one that doesn't work very good? Well, it actually worked okay that time. Sweet. Yeah, I don't think the Loco UI works for these. I think you literally have to just enter it. Right, parking brake off. Can I get another stack in here? I really want another stack in here. I don't know if it'll work though. Oh, hang on. I think we did it. Dare we tempt fate? Oh! <laughs> okay, I have to know now. Okay, can we go? Oh, everybody hang on. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're 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 resting on the spring stops now. Alright, parking brake off. Oh, it's is I'm trying to see if it is like locked into the truck or Whoa! It's all gonna explode. Oh crap! Called it. <laughs> I don't know how to move that either. I tried like picking it up. Uh, it's these water containers are all goofy. They don't work very well. Like I don't know what to do for. I don't know what to do with these. Okay, well, we made a mess. Let's see if we can fix it. Parking brake off. Oh, I said, I do have collision for the truck. Oh boy. Uh oh. Ta da! Stuck the landing. Well, I don't have enough for a forklift or a crane, but I'm wondering if the forklift lets you pick those up because there is a forklift in the vehicles list. All right, well, let's get our, uh, let's get our train out of the way. And we'll take the truck down and sell this stuff. I gotta turn the train on though. What you mean, Dark Wind? It's 
This is off, right? Yep. Yeah, the truck can come off the track. But I'm not sure if the boxes would all fall out, though. I was hoping by staying on the track, the boxes would stay in. We could try it, though. I just thought we might have a better chance of actually making it there with a with a box in the back if we were on the rails. Because of my superior train train track land. Hey, look, you click on the thing and it throws a switch. Did you see that, Railroads Online? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Okay, fine. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna that's gonna smart. I mean, we might as well throw another box on there. No, it was one of the bad ones. Who giving me the bad ones? Well, crap. Now I did it. <laughs> yeah, if we just hit R, then the the rail wheels come up. Oh, wait, er, er, come on. Stupid prototypically speed steering. <laughs> Can't move. Oh, there we go. Pro level moves. I pushed myself with the rail wheels. Like a rock. <laughs> yeah, we're getting off here, tr truck. There we go. Yeah, we still got, what, four boxes on there? Will they stay on? Maybe. I have an idea. Do, 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 do. Uh, was it on the G menu? Or was it the N menu? I gotta learn where all this stuff is. There was a crossing thingy. There it is. Is that a crossing? It looks kind of like a crossing to me. Yeah, look at that. Just right for your overloaded truck needs. Now, what's it going to look like if I connect up to here? Not terrible. Not completely terrible. Do 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 do. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Still learning all the keys. Ta da! All right. Somebody was asking if the track laying was easier than railroads online. I, it's it's hard to say. It's different. You got more pieces and stuff. As far as ease of laying, it's probably about the same. There's definitely more options in this game. All right. Now, does this actually work like a crossing? That it's gonna oh, let us across. I gotta say, the, uh, the truck physics are pretty decent. Just ignore the fact that there's a pallet on our windshield. That's perfectly normal. Now, I might have to get back on the track to get across these ditches. It looks like we can go pretty fast if we're not on the track. pretty loud too. If that's too loud, let me know. Oh, I probably should have gotten on the track back there. It's handling the terrain pretty well. 
We're not gonna be able to get across like the big ravines and stuff. Yeah, you know, just just ignore the fact that I'm literally standing in the truck. Alright, how much torque do I have? Whoa, come on. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I can't see anything from that view. I'm thinking I should have got on the track back there. Might be able to get on the track up here where this... Oh, shoot. Well, we got one box left. This is either four-wheel or front-wheel drive. I saw the front wheel spinning. Oh, we're... We're all powered out. So far, the train is faster, yeah. Whee! But this pollutes more, so we're winning. I, th I think I see a forklift in my future. Picking up pallets. Maybe a crane truck. Uh-oh. Can't get on there. All right, full send. Oh crap! This is really hard to steer. Oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> Wee! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no! No! There goes the last package. All right, the truck was a bad idea. It's official. The truck was a bad idea. Hey, I put the parking brake on. Oh, that was the pa oh, you can get in the passenger seat too. And you can't drive from the passenger seat. Well done, game. Well done. All right. Let's go make some money. That was a fun experiment. Do 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 do. Just ignore those packages there. It's perfectly normal. I mean, you guys know the Fedora Freight slogan, right? Those of you who have been around the channel. We'll get it there. Eventually. I mean, there's there's a reason that's the slogan. Yeah, Dave knows. <laughs> Clean up aisle three. Ramming speed! If I want to play prototypically, I've... Oh, crap. I've got run eight for that. Uh, okay. Well. <clears throat> we might be finding out how to rerail re -rail cars here in a little bit. Well, this is going just great. Um, there was a thingy. One of the build menus? Yeah, I think it's, oops, I think it's this thingy. Look, you can build in third person. What a concept. 
I think this lets you re-rail cars, but I don't know for sure. Let's find out. Uh, push the red button. It's either a car re-railer or a car crusher. It's, it's one of those two. <laughs> so, uh, oh, do I need to unhitch this? Uh, I didn't really do much. Okay. Yeah, maybe we have to pull it through here. Probably needs more power. Ta da! Works like a champ. Told you, it just needed full throttle. Do, 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 do. Like it never even happened. Now, I still have the problem of these packages over here. Which I don't have the money to buy anything to get rid of. So I wonder if I need to bring the truck back here and ram them off the track. Cause I can't, I tried like clicking on them. I didn't see any way to like pick them up or anything. Right click, E. Uh, can I delete them like track? <gasps> you can delete them. <laughs> that was easy. Twink, twink. What mess? I don't know what you're talking about. You just push the delete key and they go poof. I'll leave the ones that are off the track. It'd be a fun mission sometime to go to go rescue those. So we have cranes and forklifts. I can only assume that you can actually use those to do things. Alright, let's put about a Half a turn or so. Almost. Got no stupid uh, stored momentum bug either. 
about to drive me batty on railroads online. Slow down. Pull forward. Thank you. We can luck out and not get any of those weird uh, water container thingies. That would be great. Oh, too far. Tempting fate there. All right, reverse her back to forward. This engine can barely even hold itself. Doesn't have the best brakes in the world. And we went too far forward again. Close enough. Yeah, it doesn't have the weird physics stuff like Railroad Sunline. It may have other weird physics stuff. I haven't found it yet. Whoa! The crates are random, so you don't know what you're going to get. A little further. Ah, uh, that's one of those weird water ones. Hang on to your seats. Now it's now it feels like a good time to hit save game. Best brakes in the world, yeah. Sure how good the car brakes are. I guess we'll find out. Just put them all the way on. All right, I think we can get one more in there. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven. Some of them are three stacks. I like it. Okay, so the car brakes are pretty good. I can't even move it. <laughs> so car brakes off. On about a half a turn is what I usually do. Just to give it a little bit of drag. That'll do. No, not one of the weird water ones. 
it looks like like if i watch this car really carefully it looks like it's actually settling under the weight which is kind of cool all right you go away okay this feels like another great time to hit save <laughs> wow let's go sell this stuff off oh yeah I gotta change the points ah! zoom in quickly zoom in good call all right high ball See how many boxes we make make with over there. Something I saw, I was watching the guy's video. He's got like a big railroad with all the steam engines and all kinds of stuff going on. And I, he was pulling a big heavy train with a steam loco. And he could actually slip the wheels like they do in real life. You got to watch your uh, throttle application with the big steam engines. So that was really cool to see. I noticed this little diesel was doing that just a little bit. So, there seems to be some pretty decent physics under the hood. Yeah, some of those Harbor Freight orange ratchet straps. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> now, hopefully I can make it up the hills. It's not too bad on this leg. I think 1.4, so it might be the steepest. If you look off to your right, you may see a blue truck. Dukes of Hazard Delivery Service. There's my boxes. <laughs> I'll go get those one of these days. Big old downgrades. We're gonna lay off the throttle. Still only doing like 35. Eh, now we're creeping up towards 40. Hang on, packages. Yeah, a little bit of a crook here at the bottom, and I'm hoping we'll be okay. Crush fingers. Oh, yeah. No problem. Oh, were you watching the stream from last night? Yeah, that game, uh, it's pretty fun, but man, it's got some major problems. I'll give it another look if they get a bunch of those problems fixed. I reported, like, all those bugs I found on the Steam discussion, and the developer actually replied to it, said it was on the list to be fixed, so... Yeah, we'll see.
Got to be the most glitchy game you've never seen. Let me introduce you to uh, Armed Assault 3 and a little game I like to call Star Citizen. I played DayZ since the mod days, man. Those kind of glitches, pretty, pretty minor stuff. Hey, catch you later, Sad Sasquatch. Thanks for dropping in. And yeah, so far, anyway, knock on desk, the uh, Burger King triple stacker is doing all right. Oh, excuse me. Got the yawns. Been a long day. I need to look and see if the price is still 49. I think it's supposed to have kind of a dynamic economy, but I'm not sure if it's working. Okay, full break. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it's slowing us down pretty good. No problem. I'm not even sure what this engine is called. It's a pretty good little switcher. It's got an interesting uh, drive linkage. We'll see if that's close enough to sell everything. Uh, yeah, it still says 49. Ka-ching. Cool. Now if I go sell the truck, we got enough to buy another car. So we can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's get you back. Do -do -do. All the way to Boston? Dang, Hemi, that's quite the trip. Yeah, that's definitely off. So what happens if I just pop out of my vehicle real quick? Does my train keep going? What if I drive the truck? Does the train keep going? Let's find out. Let's go sell the truck and we'll see where the train's at. Whoa! Steering. It doesn't recenter very quickly. It's a little bit of a pain to... Whee! A little bit of a pain to steer! Oh boy. Nope. 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 Stick to landing. Yeah, did you stop by DC Dave's for ice cream? He's always got ice cream out and ready to go. Anytime we're in American Truck Simulator going through Idaho, we, we stop at Dave's house for ice cream. Hey, thanks, Coffee with Kyle. <laughs> That's mostly luck, but I'll take it. Do I just have to be in this general vicinity to sell it? Yeah, I think it detects it because it, sh it showed up there. Doink! Cool! Hey, that's a different color. Oh, you can change the color on these. Go for a nice blue. Why not? All right, we'll set the handbrake, and do we still have a loco? Hey, we do. Nice. 
Still just puttering along. Head back towards home base. <laughs> so I could have stopped and built a ramp and driven the truck up into this car and then taken it that way. That's another option. So we'll just trundle back to base and get our other car. Now we can take two car loads down and the cycle continues. Now I can take two cars worth of big goods too to the other uh, blue diamond there. In reality, you wouldn't want to build this big of a bridge. You'd go somewhere narrow and build a bridge across. I just went for the straight shot to get there. I think there's a couple other maps as well. This is just the default map. Maybe I should go check out the other map because you can have multiple saves. I would assume your money and stuff is separate per save though. But you start with, I think, 10 grand, which is enough to buy like a loco and a car. Oh, I thought it had full regulator. I was at 80%. Yeah, they look pretty good, Eevee. My only complaint is all the tree models are the same, and it's very obvious that they're all the same. But it looks pretty good. Uh, oops, let me go look here real quick. Sorry, I had IM from now on. Uh, I was going to go look and see... I think my 3D print's done. Cool. Do I still have a thingy? No, it doesn't bring that up. Let's see if I can bring my 3D print up on the screen. Uh, sorry, anyway. Um, go look at... I don't know if it's tomorrow's video or Thursday's video. Uh, I think it's Thursday's video where you see the fall colors show up in Railroads Online. I've recorded ahead a bit. I had some time over the weekend, so I got some recording done. But yeah, the fall colors look pretty good. It's not that menu. Is it G menu? There we go. I was just going to throw a sign up here so I'd remember to grab these boxes. Carry on.
I love that you can just switch them from the map like that. That's super handy. So we'll go grab our blue car. Get another load. We don't have fuel. Still got quite a bit. These couplers, you have to go physically couple them together with a click. I think it's a compromise between having UK and US style equipment. They have to kind of match up. Verify that you are off, you are. I'm a big fan of the horn. Sounds like a violin, I know, right? It's not very horn-like. So we've got $106 left over. Even shows your train on the map. Here we go. Line back out for the oops. Line back out for the industries. Whoa, stop. Hey, catch you later, Hellbound. Thanks for dropping in. Sleep well. Oh, I tempted fate. And we got a water box. And we got another water box. Dead gun. I wish they just didn't have those. Ugh. Keep getting water boxes. Uh, so what if I delete that one? There we go. <sighs> yeah. 
pain in the butt. Okay. Let's just start over, shall we? Why are you taking forever to stop? So you're running out two cars worth of slack now. Right. Nothing's happening. It's all good, Hemi. Nothing's happening. Okay, so that's not enough brick. Let's maybe back off there. Trying to find the right amount of car braking force. Yeah, I totally didn't get three of those in a row. And you're just like, you hold a key to go up, you hold a key to go down. It's not super precise control here. And let's get about half on the engine. It's kind of weird. It's like the brakes aren't linear. There's a lot of slack in these couplers. A lot. It's definitely having a hard time pulling the cars. I don't think the brakes are linear. It seems like a lot of things in this game are exponential, including the volume control. Then when you don't want it to... <laughs> I should probably just start throwing stuff in there and not, not caring so much. Like sometimes the the cars want to move and then other times they don't. I'm still trying to figure out the physics in this game. Yeah, we're doing it. We're putting boxes in there. But we got a big one. And we got a water container. Two big ones. Nice. Let's 
Let's try this way. Different technique. Oh, what's with all the water containers? What? <laughs> I'll do this to me game. Oh, there we go. We got something besides a water container. It's in there a little bit crooked though. The next water container will fix it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Living dangerously. doing so well <laughs> sure why not it's really slow but I kind of hate to mess with it I finally got it moving at a somewhat consistent pace Let's try going forward now. Shoot, I was looking at the throttle instead of the terrain. Oh, we got a water container. No! This is fine. This is all fine. We're all good. Yeah, it's a perfect train load. Perfect train load of cargo. Ta-da! Ninety-five percent chance a water container. It seems like it sometimes. I'm gonna attempt fate. Wasting a lot of cargo. Ah, oh, what a mess. What a mess. All right, we got 9,907 9, more to go. Plenty more where this came from. See how nice and normal all the other crates act? He says before it rockets to the moon. <laughs> nice and normal. Nice and normal, he said. See, these darn water containers that cause problems.
All right, we're good to go. Let's rock and roll. I'm sure there's a good technique to this. Uh, I just haven't discovered it yet. See how we're spinning because I applied power too soon? So it's, it's got some decent physics. Off we go. Let's go make some more money. I need to watch some more videos. Get some better ideas on the ins and outs. I guess they threw the water containers in there just for a curveball. The other containers are all pretty well behaved. You're probably not supposed to double, triple, quadruple stack these, in fairness. It said 1.2, now it says 1 or 0.2. Oh yeah, there's the box there too. One of the cursed water containers. driver spin. Whee! Just build a memorial around it, Darkwind. <laughs> a little bit of shifting of the cargo, but not too bad. From what I've seen on videos, the multiplayer is pretty solid on this too. I've seen a lot of people that play this playing multiplayer, people running all over the place. It seems to work pretty well, at least on the videos it does. No, I don't know that there's a clock in the game. can start and stop time. It looks like maybe this is advancing. I'm not sure. Network sync delay. Not sure what that's all about.
<laughs> uh, here come the brakes. Oh, I should have put the brakes on a lot earlier. Eh, we'll just casually slide right on through and we'll come back. I think we're a little heavier. You see the linkage there. Sure, this will work out just fine. I'm gonna try to get four of these. Don't know that these will stack on top of each other. Guess we could try. I don't want to have to delete these. These are generated by me bringing stuff down here. It's going to be kind of close, isn't it? No. <laughs> Good chunk. What happens if I do this again? Oh. Imagine. Don't forget to brush and floss. Brush and flosh. <laughs> Kiddos are headed off to bed. Or to get ready for bed anyway. Why do I feel like this is a really bad idea? Anybody know? Because it's a really bad idea. <laughs> and big water container. No! You hush your mouth. Looks fine. We've got Darkwind's stamp of approval. We're good. I've got three more, but I don't think I want to tempt fate that much. Let's we'll get one more on the back here. Maybe. I was hoping that would continue to roll forward. Naturally, since I moved the reverser, it's not going to. Oh, she's acting heavy.
Okay, let's see if we can make it over to there. Sure, it'll be fine. It's fairly flat over there. There's a little bit of... Oops, I'm spinning. There's a little bit of, like, 2.6 gray, but it's really short. I wonder, though, am I going to tip over going around this corner? Once we make this corner, it's pretty much a straight shot. So I don't want to pour on too much coal. Alright, now we can go. Go, little engine, go! Push! Curves? Yes, please. One percent. Somewhere in here it gets really steep for a short section. So this should in theory be about 800 bucks. Somewhere thereabouts. Yeah, I knew what you meant, Darkwind. It's not, it's not meant for tight curves. This section right here is the really steep part. Maybe? Maybe not. I basically just made a curve and then headed for that blue diamond. <laughs> it's a nice boring run across here. Good money maker though. Timberfall, Strumpton, all these boards. I don't see anything that like screams out refinery. But there are tankers for diesel. I don't know if you can produce diesel or transport diesel. Other than from the home yard. And there's these cities over there. I haven't been to those yet. I don't know what's over there. But this place over here takes heavy goods and it produces I think refinery parts or something. I'll have to see what they're called. Alright, I better start slowing down. I don't know what you do with a really long coal train. Like, you would want car brakes on that. I don't know if there's air brakes on, like, the more modern cars. And if you have, like, a GP38 or something, maybe you have air brakes available? I don't know.
Let's see here, we have uh, refining supplies. Apparently. Oh, they're 90 bucks. I thought they were 99. And we got 13 refining supplies. Well, oh, this takes coal too? Or is that just the same? Maybe it's just the same billboard. I think it's just because it's the same billboard. We land up here or is this hollow? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, a little more cash in the bank. That's the name of the game. Kind of tempted, though, since we're here. To go see what's over there at the city. Let's lay some track. While we're here, let's turn this into a switch. To get to there. That's a narrow gauge track. That's not going to work. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hopefully this doesn't delete the whole spline. Delete the track right out from under your train. It's never, never a good thing. So it looks like we might want to curve that. Looks a little ugly there for some reason. I don't know what's over here, so we'll just head for the city. So each of these is like four sections long, or can be up to four sections long. That's why it's, it's just rails until I get to the 
fourth section or you can end it early. Oh, hold up. Wife is messaging me. Make sure your daughter brushes and flosses. Yep. I reminded her, but probably have to double check. It's a lot further over here than it looks like. Luckily, once we do make it over here, we can just teleport back to the loco. Yeah, Hemi. My dad had really bad teeth. He had actually lost all his teeth by like age 18 or 20 and wore full dentures his whole life. So I had a good example of, don't do that. <laughs> I didn't have any cavities till I was in my like mid twenties. Hopefully this isn't just a desert mirage. Yeah, Dave, they're a pain. He had to buy new teeth every like five or ten years. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was sudden. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. So let's in that there. And put on a new section. Yeah, your teeth do have a little bit of structural component to them. Okay, now the fun part. I guess I should have probably left that track there as a reference. Now that I think about it. So let's start here. Don't know of any way to... No, not that button. Is it H? Yeah, it's H. So that links up at that height. That's not what I want. Yeah, that's not what I want. That's what I want. And that's, eh, I think that's pretty well lined up.
No oh, crap. How do you how do you tell which one you're deleting? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we made it, Timmy. We made about, I don't know, 700 bucks. 750, something like that. There we go. Now we got the track deleted. Now this, I think you just have to kind of line up by eyeball for the most part. So this is going to be our, our bridge to join the slope here. Unfortunately, I got a little bit crooked. Now this should lay on that bridge support. We have a more gradual slope coming up. Ta-da. So I need to get a lot better at that, but that's the idea. It's like this whole city is on some kind of platform. So if you missed the uh, delivery, we've got goods we brought over here to the heavy goods, sold them, got heavy goods loaded up, brought them over here to salt flats, I refresh track. Now we've been building, all that building was just from here to here. Like it looks close, it's actually really far. <laughs> so we're trying to get over to here, which looks like it's on the edge of the map, I guess. So I wanted to see, there's blue, so that means we should be able to buy and sell over here. From what I understand. It's, it's hard to really compare him because it's so different. I mean, the, as far as difficulty, I guess they're about the same. There's a lot more options and styles and stuff in this game. You can even like super elevate curves and stuff. Oh, that's a road. I thought that was track there for a minute. All right, let's go. We'll see what we got over here. I'm not sure. There may be a faster way to travel, but this is the one I know about. So this is a city slash military something or other. I see a tank icon. Okay, this has got some possibilities. And there is a track there. That's probably where we deliver coal. Possibly oil too here. Okay, what's this all about? You can bring stuff over here and manufacture tanks? Say what? It buys heavy goods and lumber. I'm thinking if we bring heavy goods over here, we get a, a freaking tank. Buys heavy goods, lumber, and coal. Okay. So the coal will go here. That's just decoration, I guess. Or maybe for future use. 
Okay, so we need tracks here that we need to connect up. And this spawns large materials. So that's what those, probably what those big flat cars are used for. Almost needs to be over a little bit, doesn't it? It's a little bit hard to tell just based on the kind of faint green outline that they give you. Can I see that outline from here? So if I center that up on the tank. See how that looks. It's a little off, but I think it's going to be good enough. Looks pretty close back here on the tank. So I probably want to start curving before then. I wish there was a way to delete just one section of the long piece. And if, if there is, I don't, I haven't found it yet. Kind of deletes the whole thing. So we'll just come to here. It's a pretty gradual curve. Because we're coming over here, we're eventually going to have some pretty large cars. So yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll stick with the 0.4. I'm not sure what that 0.4 means. All right, we have the road here. Am I supposed to like make a crossing or something? Put that there for reference. And then if I have the G. Is that like a drawbridge or something? Oh, kidding me?
No way. The mother flipping drawbridge. Okay, that's cool. Like this is just a regular bridge, different lengths. All right, how do I raise it? I suppose I have to build a bridge up and snap to it. Probably. I'm going to get totally lost and just build a bridge. I get distracted easily. Yeah, there was a grade crossing, but this looks like a road, so I was wanting to build a, an elevated bridge. For fun. That's right, I have to click in front, don't I? There we go. Wee. Yeah, that's way too long, isn't it? All right, it's it's gonna take way too much room. So let's let's scratch that, and we can do like what Darkman was saying. We just put a gray crossing there for funsies. I'm just wondering if that concrete's gonna interfere with the rail at all. You did not link up, did you? There we go. That was on in. There it is. We go out a little further. I think we'll be okay there. All right, my track I made is way over there. So after the crossing, let's start curving again. All right, laid way too much track before I scouted the area. Put 
but we might want to go that way and curve some other direction. So let's come back here and we'll put in a switch. Say what now? They're not flat yet here? I don't understand what's going on. Or is it because this is interfering? Oh, this isn't flat. This is 0.3%. Yeah. Not flat here yet. Interesting. It lets you adjust it anyway. So let's do that. Call that good enough. That's ugly. Let's do that instead. It was being all weird. I'm not sure that worked. Yeah. <laughs> Say what now? Let's get a little closer and then try to join up. There we go. Okay. We made a loop ish. It's not really a loop. It's part of a loop. It's weird. It looks like this is off the map. So we'd probably want to go this way at some point and we'll, we can have stuff out there, but anywho, back to our loco here. So that's the track link. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward.
Takes a little getting used to. Oh, did I not switch that? I didn't. So does it just derail? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, look at that, like a boss. I don't think that would have worked out very good if I'd had goods on board. <laughs> it's like, it just kind of slid, bounced off the switch stand, went right back on the track. Excellent. Forward ho, little engine. All right, we go. We only got eighteen hundred bucks, don't we? Yeah, it 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 had physics. Like I saw the the trucks were bouncing all over the place, but it looks like it may have a little bit of built-in help because it like it derailed and then it bounced off the switch stand and and then it magically lined back up. So yeah, physics with a little help. Here's my train. I wonder if I could like double click somewhere to, to teleport. Uh, I is buyers. Oh, hey, look at that. That's handy. Oh, wow. Different towns are paying different amounts. Lumberton, Johnson, and Strasburg are giving 150 bucks for standard goods. The price is going down on the heavy goods yard. So it doesn't update on the billboard, but it is updating because I've sold so many to the heavy goods yard that it's down to 38 now. Oh. Hey, Mr. Kiss. How's it going? So where's Lumberton, Johnstown, or Strasburg, or Sightsville? Also, they're paying a bunch. I'm guessing they're really far away. Yeah, this game's pretty neat. It's kind of a little hidden gem. Oh, Tempest is right over there. Why am I selling over here like an idiot? Because you're dumb. Sightsville is over there. So if we went up here and through this canyon over to Sightsville... It looks like that would be a, the way to go. Or just a branch over here to Tempest. This is shorter, unless this is a really rough route. It might be interesting. Yeah, it is huge. I mean, I think it's 14 kilometers by 14 kilometers. And then there's another map that's 10 by 10, I think. It tells you on the start page. And then there's like a test map that I haven't been on. So yeah, I, I, I'm learning more and more about the game. I'm brand new. This is the first time I've streamed it. I've I played like maybe an hour or two before I streamed it. Just figuring things out. But yeah, if you just hit I, like the thing says, <laughs> it uh, tells you who buys what. Lumber is worth a ton. Uh, Billy's Borge provides lumber. Wow. Let me just screenshot that so I'll have it for a reference. Yeah, there are different styles for sure. But yeah, this, this does like all the things I wish Railroad on, Railroads Online did. As far as like convenience and quality of life stuff. Where's my train? Great question. Where is my train? Uh, train? 
train. Oh, there it is. It was going through the heavy goods yard, so I couldn't see it. So you can see your train on the map. You can throw turnouts from the map. So it's headed back over here. We need to build over here. And that looks like a pass through the mountains. And then Sightsville pays three times as much for our goods. So I feel like a big old dummy now. Uh, it's got a mix, Mr. Kisk. It's, it's a mix of some UK and US stuff, and it's a mix between steam and diesel. So it's got both. It's not really meant to be like a realistic, you know, it's, it's not trying to be run aid or anything. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of depth to it, though. So, yeah, we need to head for that pass. And I need to remember to check on my train. <laughs> it's going to come roaring into the station over here. So that looks like that pass. Let's start bending over towards that. Yeah, definitely a notch over there. Cool. Speedy Gonzales. Yeah, Mr. Kiss, Kiss, that would be cool if it was like Transport Fever 2 meets this or something. It's kind of roly-poly, but we're just, we're just following the ground for now. Where is the train? Oh, my train's over here. Getting ready to cross over. It's getting there. Yeah, one of my uh, commenters on YouTube mentioned this to me quite a while back. I think it was during the first series I'd done on Railroads Online. And at the time it, I looked at it, it didn't look, it didn't look that great, but it looks like it's come a long ways. So, and it's like 14 bucks, so. It's like, yeah, I'm going to get that and mess around with it. There's cranes and like tanker trucks. I mean, there, there's a lot going on in this game. I barely even scratched the surface. There's a forklift. I'm not sure. I'm hoping I can pick up my dropped packages with that. I might have dropped some on the ground. All right, let's go see where our train is. Like it's struggling a bit. I don't think I can drop like a point to warp back over here too. Yeah, there's a couple different. I had a pickup earlier. You can buy a pickup truck for like two grand, and it has high rail wheels, so you can drive it up and lower the high high rail wheels and go down the track, and it'll carry like a couple little things of cargo. And then there's Urals with like tankers, and there's a Ural with a crane on it. There's there's all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm just in the baby stages here. I don't have hardly any money. There's also a narrow gauge and you can, there's even flat cars with, so there's standard gauge flat cars with narrow gauge rails on them. 
so you can buy your narrow gauge stuff, transport it over to wherever it needs to go, and then transfer it. So yeah, there's there's really cool stuff in it. All right, oops, uh, we need to hop over to our loco. Wink. I guess I said I still had remote control of it, so I could have just stopped it. Now that I think about it. Oh, well, let's get lined up to go out to where we're building track. There we go. Refresh track. So we're over here. How are we doing on fuel? Still got lots of fuel. Yeah, there's different tile sets and other engines that ride on top of Dwarf Fortress. And Dwarf Fortress is on Steam. It, It's not out, but it's on Steam. It's on my wish list. It's going to eventually release on Steam someday. Yeah, I should have went over there and loaded good, shouldn't I? That'd be the smart play. We'll back in there and grab some goods. Yeah, the the I don't I'm sure about the whistle. The horn is a disappointment because you have to left click to pull it and right click to push it, and it sounds terrible. I'm not sure about the steam whistle. I haven't done steam yet. So it's it's got a long ways to go. I think it's just a single developer, but I'm not 100 percent sure. You can, you can find it on Steam. Loco Shortline Operations. Go read all about it. Check it out there. Stop! Oh, I always want to hit V because I've been playing Railroads Online. Bring her all back. Dwarf Fortress is one of those games that I've always intended to get into and just never have because it's it really deserves your entire attention and I can't give it the full attention it deserves. <laughs> I've played it a little bit here and there. I've watched a lot of uh, Dwarf Fortress on YouTube by people that know what they're doing. I like Project Zomboid. Awesome, awesome game. I keep meaning to get into, and then I get distracted by other easier games. I'm still getting used to the uh, momentum, as you can see. Yeah, there's so many good games, so little time. Then I find new games, and I have even less time. Yeah, I tried, I played the demo of Road to Vostok. There wasn't really enough there to really stream it that much. But yeah, I played the demo for that. I'm all for a solid PvE, you know, single player game with good AI. Everybody's like, it needs PvP. No, it doesn't. We don't need another lag fest full of cheaters we've got plenty of those let's get a good solid single player game
Tell you what, let's not even double stack it. Let's just let's just go with this. Call it good. We don't get in the cab. No, nope, wrong button. Sounds like Transformer Home. Alright, let's get over here and we'll keep building towards what was it called? Stee Sightsville. We were Sightsville bound. See what we face when we get through the gap there. I'm not sure if that's sound effects or like physics being weird making those noises. Oh, and this has like uh, MU too. Like you can connect engines together and use them at the same time. I watched the tutorial on how to do that. It's pretty neat. No, I don't think there's any terrain deformation. It says this is flat here. No, there it goes. 0.2%. A little bit of undulation. I love the spark effects. Looking forward to getting something faster. This thing can only do like 28, 30 miles an hour tops. This handy little mountain pass here. I've seen a lot of people come up here and curve around and go that way to the heavy goods. Maybe that's a better way, but it was quicker to go the way I went. It's maybe not prettier, but it's quicker. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and you can freeze yourself in place if you want to just look around. Right, we'll put some brakes on. Should get us stopped. A little bit of a grade there, 1%. Probably not right in the middle of the pass like I should be. I'm just following the ground. It's not necessarily the best way. Ooh, so this, this opens up over here. Which way do I need to go? You get up out of here somehow. Spinning out. Yeah, 
yeah, this is this is an ugly track. We can always relay it. Come on, up over the hump. One train. There's no speed readout, so I like I hope the train's coming. Yeah, here it comes. All right, so that goes that way. There's something here. I wonder if this goes up. But there's a little bit of something over there. We'll just have to keep uh, looking at it. Where'd you go, train? Yeah, the little gaps are kind of a kind of a bummer. Oh, it's rolling backwards. That's not good. See the sparks flying. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get her stopped. It's like I couldn't make it up the grade, and it was going backwards. Full steam ahead. Hopefully that kind of thing, Dave, will get fixed at some point. Some of it's just a rendering issue too. Like it looks like there's a bunch of no ties there, but it's just a rendering thing. Well, now she's coming. Sparks flying, she's coming now. <laughs> I'm going to make it up there with like some switchbacks or something.
You're gonna stop, right? Yeah, okay, good. Let's just turn you off for a bit. Actually, I haven't saved in forever. Save too. So I'm thinking of putting a switch here and that this can continue on to wherever we might want to go. And maybe trying to snake our way up into there. And see how that goes. Might not be the right thing to do. All right, that is our mainline switch. Yep. I like that it has like main switches and it has yard switches too. I think I used the, I might have used the main switches in the yard. So I might have used the wrong kind of switches somewhere before I realized that it had different kinds of switches. Ooh, that's ugly. Why are you being weird? Ah, oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Son of a... I just deleted the track right after my train. <laughs> hey, remember that save I took? <clears throat> this brief intermission brought to you by... Oops. First try. Is it because it's such a curve? No, I was being a little weird. It's cut, yeah, because it's on an incline. Okay. Do 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 do. We. Insert Kerbo fails here. That's degrees or if that's percent. That'd actually be percent. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work out. We we'll have to be pretty darn steep to get up there. In that amount of distance.
I'm talking like a if, if that's 2.64 I don't know if that's a great percent that looks really steep way more than two percent but I'm not sure I don't know if the train will even make it up that Oh no, that's like degrees of a circle, it looks like. This starts at 360. All right, stupidly steep railroad. How stupidly steep are you gonna be? This stuff doesn't snap to anything, as far as I can tell. So it's all trial and error, mostly error. Not sure that train can even make it up this. <laughs> we'll find out in a little bit if this is just a fool's errand, which I think it probably is. Yeah, going down is going to be great. Welcome to Disneyland. <laughs> Perfect. Let's avoid the tree. Yeah, need to set up a picket booth, a, t a picket booth, a ticket booth. We're all set. So if we can get up here, then we'll go that way and we'll see. I think our best bet may just be continue. Continue on down here. It looks like there's a cut here, maybe, that comes up gradually. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. But hey, let's let's have some fun. Oops. Let's go the right direction. Now, the fun part is getting this lined up with the uh, bridge. And maybe steep, at least it's straight. Oh, wait. This thing is all over the place. All 
I need to be a lot. I need to be a lot sharper than that. All right, place your bets now, ladies and gents. <laughs> How far will we make it up? I'm going to go with not very far. Headlights on for safety. Oh, itchy headphones. Check. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're already on a 0.7% grade before we even get started. <laughs> Probably should have got a run at it. And we'll see how far we can get. Need a sander. Four point six percent grade. No problem. Totally got this. Actually, we're not losing speed. What? It's a little engine that could. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, we're slipping. No, I spoke too soon. I think with the run at that, we can make it. It went a lot further than I anticipated. Don't worry, folks. These sparks and brush fires are completely normal. It's all part of the adventure. back off a ways so we don't have such a slow start. Oh, crap. And why does it do that? Every once in a while the track goes all wonky. Alright, you have fun stopping. I'm going to go fix the track. Maybe I just did that and didn't notice. I don't know. It's weird. Now it's connected. All right, y'all ready for this? This is the worst excuse for a horn ever in any train game. Full speed ahead. Oh, that's still a half a percent grade. It's better than 0.7 though, I guess. We got a little bit of a run up at it. Hopefully not derail at the switch. We're going to make it this time. I believe. Sad horn noises, right? Here, I'll turn on the rear light. The electrons flying out the back will help us go faster. Here we go. That's what was slowing us down, the, the front headlight. It's nothing to do with the uh, crazy track and the curve up here. 
Go, go, little train. Losing it in the curve. Losing it in the curve. Can't hold it either. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Hey, remember that save I had? So, we're just going to go right on straight through here. It was worth a shot. I love how fast this thing loads, too. It's crazy fast. A little bit great here. 1.7 is saying. I'm not sure if that always updates in real time or not. Yeah, I need more traction, too. I don't know if it's so much power as traction. We were spinning out. All right, so it curves a little bit, and then I th I'm thinking this is our way up to this plateau over here. Is that the cut? Yep. All right. Oop. Yeah, that's going to be our. That's going to be our way up. Custom tailor made. Do 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 do. All right. So we need a switcher Rooney. All right, we're going to need sharper than that. That's the wrong button. Whoa, too sharp. <laughs> Guess because I started further back.
Seventh time's a charm, right? We were at point five. Let's try point six. It was point six where we ran into problems. Point six is just what the doctor ordered, and then we'll come back to like a point. Three maybe, and then we'll head uphill. What kind of a journey is this? Eh, slight undulations. Let's go, train. It's not too steep, I promise. Still, I think, closer than the Tempest. So we'd have to go even further south than the Heavy Goods. Switched, right? Yeah. One thing I haven't seen, and maybe I just missed it, is like a road bed. Like, there's no ballast. It's just ties on the ground. Ooh, four percent. I didn't realize it was that steep. Holy cow. That's a bit of a climb even here. We're gonna make it. Kinda holding holding speed. Will the brakes hold us on the hill? That's the next question. Not so much. Not so much. I like that the wheels are turning. Like the car's slowly sliding backwards. And the wheel is actually turning. So that's a good sign. That's good game design. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we might not be able to get started again. I'm glad I didn't double stack the cargo. Ooh, that's kind of nasty. Yeah, it's three and four percent all the way up through here.
That blue diamond in the sky is getting closer, though. Kinds of blue diamonds over here. I think we only want to go south here. Unless we're gonna climb in mountains at some point. Distances are so deceiving on this map. Sell cargo, okay. Oh, it's literally just a blue diamond in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> There's no actual town here yet. Okay, fair enough. Okay, standard goods, heavy goods. Oh, thirteen hundred dollars for heavy goods. Holy crap! We can get heavy goods up here. We've got it made. You go there. And will you link up and be nice? Pretty much. All right, that's it for straight. Good deal. So I'll probably just make a, a teardrop loop here. Now that we know where we're going.
Man, it'd take a while to get up here, but that's a, a really good price for heavy goods. 1300 bucks. The other place I was taking heavy goods was paying 90 I think. So distance traveled really seems to pay off in this game. I was doing a one, wasn't I? Let's do a little bit of point four as we leave here. And we'll go nuts with the 1.0. Okay, we're starting to starting to get back in the general direction. Sometimes you have to click twice to connect it. Okay. There we, there we made it. Uh, let's go to our loco. And we'll probably have to back down the hill. I don't think we're going to be able to start moving. Since I had to put the handbrakes on the cars to stop sliding backwards. <laughs> Well, the engine wants to move. Let's start taking off some uh, car handbrake here. Maybe we can get kind of a rolling start. Or not. With two people, this might be easier. Let's see if we can... Let's see, if I have a mouse on that. I have my other hand on the number keys and kind of roll back into that and then go oh, I clicked the wrong direction that's the idea there we go use the coupler slack to get going Okay. I'd give a little victory toot on the horn, but it sounds so bad, it's embarrassing. So we're gonna deliver these and I probably need to head off to bed. It's uh it's getting late. I gotta work tomorrow. But uh this game is really cool. I like it. I'll I will be continuing the Railroads Online series on YouTube. Don't worry. <laughs> This uh, this will be in the stream rotation probably for a while. Explore what all it has to offer. I've got my fourteen bucks worth just tonight. Three and a half hours. I'm happy. Right, we're not going to win any races, but hey, we are we are making it up the hill. I'm not sure we would make it up here with some heavy goods. At least not two cars worth. But now that I know about this route, we can I can basically just load up the goods, open the throttle all the way, and wait till we get here.
Something over there is a smokestack on it. Strasburg, maybe? And haven't even explored the uh, narrow gauge stuff. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't get on the uh, gas nearly quick enough. We'll just sell that as it goes through. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at all that money. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Now we just head back. Need to throw yonder switch. That should be good. And we get back over here, headed into the building supplies. Excellent. Oops. I was walking. <laughs> cool. Well, I like it, chat. I like it. Oh, no. The $150 sitting there on my car. Didn't realize I missed a box. You guys were just going to sit there and let me run all the way back with that box, weren't you? Brakes! More brakes. Those are off. Go sell this box. We got darn near enough to buy another car. But I'm not sure I can make it up here with three cars. Might be worth a shot, though. Or try to double stack these two cars. I should check too on the is it the I menu. Uh. Was it Strasbourg? I forget where we came to. Where am I? Sightsville. Now they only pay $21? What? So it's just the first few packages that pays that much? I gotta figure out how this economy works in this game. I feel cheated. This seriously just worth 21 bucks now? No, that was more than 21 bucks. Now it says $11. I'm confused. None of the numbers match up, unless I just missed something, which is possible. Been a long day. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, now it says $11 down there. What? Well, there goes my money maker. Dang. Let's 
so I only made 150 bucks maybe for the first box and it just scaled down. Oh well, we got to see some new country. <laughs> No, I threw it already. Okay, good. Thought we were gonna just derail the whole train. I think it's supply and demand. Like the more you sell, the the less they're worth. I don't know what brings it back up again, though. Woo, we hit 40 mile an hour. Even the throttle makes no difference. It's just because the drivers are just spinning so fast. Wee! <laughs> this little engine. Zzz. The busy little bee under there. Oh no, we're up to 50 mile an hour. This, this might go horribly wrong, chat. Uh oh. Everybody hang on. Grab a handle. Stand by on the clip button. We're gonna make it around the curve. Oh it's tight. I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Whee! Sparks flying, but we made it. We're all good. So yeah, I have to do some digging around. Uh, there's not, there's a little bit of help in the help menu, but I don't know if it actually explains. So there's a game how-to here. Whoa, I'm not sure what that was. I think the idea is you t turn it into larger goods. Blue markers will pay more but do not supply. Red markers will both buy and supply cargo. Yeah, I don't know. Have to do some research. Yeah, let's see what double does. Does double make it into dual gauge track? Because that would be awesome. I'm not sure what double does. I get the option on some of this track stuff to double. So I want to try that and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to get back to the shed here. Hold your britches. <laughs> of course, now we're reversed because we went through the uh, teardrop over there. That's okay. Love that you can see the trains on the map and it draws the track and you can just throw the switches it's just got a lot going for it for a 14 dollar game i mean it's hard to go wrong what you can do wrong though is not